Hello everybody, this is Danny from Deep South Homestead. We were out here this morning. We have our Cherokee purple tomatoes that we have planted here. We're staking them this morning. We have 45 of them planted. Uh, we think that that will be enough to, uh, to supply our need of Cherokee purples this year for us here on our homestead. We did not plant the Cherokee purple with the Cherokee garden because there just wasn't enough room uh, to plant where we were wanting to plant at. So we moved our Cherokee purple tomatoes down here in this particular garden spot. We're going to be planting some more squash and different things over on the other sides of this. But what we've done is we have changed our way of doing things here at Deep South Homestead. The Cherokee garden is actually up in front of our house on another piece of property up there. This is the lower part of our property down here, quite a distance from that garden, um, several acres from that garden, as a matter of fact. And what we're doing down here is we're planting the Hopi blue Michokan corn, if I pronounce that, Michokan corn, if I pronounce that right, uh, down here, and it's to my right. If you look down, you'll see the rows we have here of the uh, blue, um, uh, Hopi Indian corn, the Michokan Indian corn. Now what we're going to do here guys is we didn't want to throw all of our apples into one basket and put everything in the Cherokee garden because we have several different Native American varieties of seeds this year. Along with the blue corn here this year, we, uh, the Hopi blue corn, we're going to be planting the Hopi gray squash in here with this because we want several different varieties of squash and because of, like I said in my other video of the genus names, a lot of these squashes will cross pollinate. So we're trying to prevent that by putting different varieties of squash on different parts of our property. And our properties, I believe is large enough, it's 10 acres, I believe we can, if we can get in all the corners away from one another that we can successfully do this. So we'll have the blue, the blue corn, the Hopi gray squash in this garden. We're going to have the white eagle Cherokee corn in the upper garden. We're going to try the North Georgia candy roaster squash up there. Over here we've got the Cherokee purple tomatoes down here. So we're going to have another variety or two of squash over here that do not have the same genus names as this. So they won't cross pollinate. Probably going to do some cucumbers and different things down here. Um, we're just trying to get a variety of ancient seeds growing on our property here because guys, these are the sustainable seeds. These are the sustainable things that you don't have to can these squash. These squash can last from one to two years without being canned or done anything to and any, any event of some sort of a life changing event takes place and we don't have canning lids and stuff like that. We want to have enough of a bank of seeds so that we can grow things that will last from season to season without having to keep them canned. So we're going to take you on the rest of the journey here and I hope that you'll enjoy what we do here at Deep South Homestead in our Native American garden planting this year. Thank you from Deep South Homestead.